What's going on YouTube? It's Blood, Sweat and Gears 87 and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a doe hunt that I went on last weekend. Um, I went back to the tower stand where I got the buck in my previous video and we got lucky again. Um, now that I got the buck out the way, I'm focusing on doe management and it's just, it's kind of funny how it works out, but the whole time when I was going for that buck and I was trying to not shoot those, that's all I was seeing. And now that I'm focusing on tagging a couple of those, it's like been a struggle and I haven't been seeing that many. So anyway, on this particular hunt, I went out, got in the stand. I was only there for maybe an hour and then a doe and a buck came out the woods and went into the plot. And uh, since the first frost has hit, it's killed a lot of the sun hemp that was in that plot. But the sorghum and some of the other stuff is still doing just fine. And the deer have still been hitting that plot religiously and eating on all of that good stuff that I got out there for them. So basically, those two deer came out the woods. I made a perfect shot. The doe went down right on the edge of the plot. You guys will see all of that in the video. But something really strange happened like after I made the shot and I'm not going to spoil it. I just let you guys see it. But something that I've never witnessed happen like as quickly as it did happen in this video. So I'll show you. You guys will see it. I don't want to spoil it. But anyway, um, it's not too much to explain with this one. I'm trying to harvest a couple of those. Went down there and made it happen quickly. So I got that one doe tag field and hopefully before the season is over, I can tag another two or three. Um, I have three doe tags left and there are three weeks left to the season, including today. So it's getting kind of late right now. So I'm probably going to go ahead and change and head to the woods in a few minutes. But anyway, let me go ahead and bring you guys the hunt and you let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll holla at y'all in a little bit. Here's the video.
so much dough that I just shot. She went down on the edge of the plot over there where that buck was standing. And I'm trying to wait to see if we see another doe because I, I technically can shoot two in one day. So I'm trying to wait around to see if another doe steps out into the plot. But a buzzard is literally, a vulture is literally right there about to start working on my doe. So I guess I probably need to go out there before he starts pecking on her. That's crazy. I mean, I just literally shot it. And she went down and it's already a vulture out there looking for her. Well, not looking. He about, hey. I'm about to get down, y'all. Because he about to start. <laughs> he about to start working on my dog. <laughs> Let me go over there real quick. So... I wanted to stay out here and stay in the stand a little longer, see if we could get a second doe. Once I seen that buzzard land and um, <laughs> start going towards my doe, I figured I better get down. But I literally just heard a deer on the other side of the hedgerow right here. Um, wind just started blowing. So I probably should have got back in the stand after I ran that buzzard off, but anyway. I want to show you guys some of this blood trail before it gets dark. So I'm going to have to go home and get the truck and come back in here. But look at that, man. It's easy to follow that one. People are like spraying everywhere. But I wish I would have turned the camera because she literally went down right on the other side of the flat. I probably, probably could have got out on the video, but I was uh, kind of looking at that buck, trying to see what he was doing. But she literally went down, like, right over there. But I just wanted to let y'all see this. It's been pretty easy to track her if she got beyond, beyond the plot. Lately, I've been looking for a doe, and it seems like I haven't been seeing any. Or either when I do, they would like come through so, so quick that I wasn't ready. But there she is. It's a pretty good one. Let me go on and uh, get my truck, get my stuff to move her, and come back down here. We'll be on the way to the process. Huh? Some more meat for the freezer, y'all. All right, y'all, we down here about to go get the dough. I got my mom out here again. I ain't gonna put a face in the video, though. But <laughs> let me go ahead and get this cart. We can roll over here and get this dough. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see me or not. You got all the beans? Yeah. You got everything. Right there on that side. <sighs> oh, 
back out here again, y'all. This time the pin ain't gonna come out. <laughs> we got it out here in there for the last time. But I got that dough in the green cover, summer release plot. It's still going. It's December. They're still out here eating on it. But yeah, my plan was to stay and try to shoot another dough. But as soon as I shot that one, the buzzard came in out of nowhere. And that was crazy. It does literally it just went down. <laughs> Where it came from. Hey, that's what they say. You way back there. What you doing? I'm coming. <laughs> oh, my. <Mark. sighs> Idiots. Oh. I'm going to flip her around over by the plot, get a couple pictures, and then we're going to be headed to the processor. No, this is the light. This is the light shining. Like, it's like, you know how their eyes reflect back? If you, See, the light ain't on them, it won't be like that because so, they're light on them. Alright y'all, let me I'm gonna flip this thing around and get some pictures. We're gonna be on the way. Alright y'all, trying to push this thing one hand. I got my mama to take some pictures. She done fell and everything, man. <laughs> but thank God for her. she came out here and took these pictures for me. Man, she done fell. Got blood all on the jacket. We're gonna have to wash it down when we get home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, this dough looks bigger than I thought now. It's on this spot thing. <clears throat> Trying to push it with one hand. Do what? <laughs> Got all my tools out here. Gotta have this if you're gonna be by yourself a lot of times. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put this in the video no way. I don't even blow it. See my YouTube don't like that all of a sudden. Alright, get on the road. Got a long way to go. <laughs> long way to go. I was trying to do a video of getting one somewhere other than right here, but it don't I don't know what's gonna happen nowhere else. <laughs> 